When we do speech audiometry, in particular super threshold uh, speech recognition scores, it's important to consider how the um, score agrees with the, the rest of the clinical profile. That is, if a listener has a, a mild amount of hearing loss, is it expected that when we present speech at a comfortable listening level, they would only respond um, to 50% of the, the tokens, they'd only get 50% accuracy? Or would that be um, indicative of the need for further testing? So we do want to make sure that things are matching up in the audiometric evaluation. This graph is one way in which we can compare how the overall uh, hearing loss is going to influence uh, PE max or performance on word recognition measures. So across the x-axis I plot uh, pure tone average in decibels hearing level and across the y-axis is the PB max or the um, highest score obtained, percent correct score obtained for word rec measures. Now as you know pure tone average is the average hearing loss at 500, 1000, and 2000 hertz. So it's not going to tell us um, as accurately, this figure will tell us as accurately uh, if somebody has a precipitously sloping loss or if somebody has a rising configuration. This figure is most useful for individuals who have a, a gradually um, sloping hearing loss or more of a, a flat hearing loss. But it does at least allow us to consider how overall um, degree of hearing loss for particular configurations agrees with the speech recognition scores. So how we read this figure is let's say somebody had a, a flat um, moderate amount of, of hearing loss. Uh, so let's say their, their PTA equaled 50 dBHL. What are some of um, or what's an average PB max that we would uh, expect? So if we go from 50 decibels of hearing level up to uh, this line here and the solid line is the average uh, PB max scores for a group of uh, 400 listeners. We see that that is consistent with a PB max score of 70%. Now this is um, listeners with uh, cochlear hearing loss, not conductive hearing loss. Remember again with a conductive hearing loss, once you overcome the attenuation loss um, from the conductive component, the PB max should um, be near perfect. So in an individual with a flat, moderate sensory neural hearing loss at, with a um, severity of, of, moderate, uh, of moderate severity, 50 dBHL would correspond there to a PB max of 70%. So if you did see somebody who had a moderate amount of hearing loss, a flat configuration, um, and let's say their PB max score was 40%, Okay. This would be outside of the expected range, and it would uh, necessitate the need for further testing. And think about some possible reasons why an individual may have a speech recognition score that's not consistent with their overall degree of hearing loss. Perhaps it's related to the configuration. Again, pure tone average is not a complete snapshot of the, the listener's um, audibility across all different frequencies. And as we've talked about, and as you've learned in this unit, speech is a broadband signal comprised of many different frequencies, not just that at 500, 1000, and 2000 hertz.